What's up guys? It's your boy PJ the Paradox Nerd back again with another video and today I'll be doing a boxing and review of Sideshow Collectibles Mythos Mall Statue. Now I just want to apologize for being late with my review and also for not putting out a lot of content in the past couple of weeks. I've been working a lot as a backup to the backup dancer in Chippendales to pay for all these Mythos statues I received in the week. Plus, I gotta pay for all these Star Wars statues that is about to be released, especially the Regal Robot and Sideshow Collectibles Rancor statues. So definitely subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future Star Wars content I put out, and also you won't miss out on being entered in my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, which is a Hot Toys Luke Skywalker Deluxe figure from The Last Jedi movie. To enter in that giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber, hit that notification bell so that once I hit 5,000 subscribers, you'll be notified when I go live after I hit that milestone. And during that live stream, I will randomly pick a winner from the live chat using a randomizer. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's unbox this bad boy right now. All right, so let's open it up. And uh, as you can see, everything is packaged really well. Let's take out the base here first. Definitely be careful when you're taking the base out of the foam packaging. You don't want to snap any of the rocks off. And as you can see, this base is pretty epic. And in the bottom of the base, you have some artwork of Maul. And as you can see, I have 722 out of 4,500. Man, really digging this base. And uh, here is the first part of the skirt. And uh, definitely be careful when you're handling these skirts. You don't want to snap like the tip of the skirt off or anything like that. Uh, here is the second part of the skirt. And uh, as you can see, beautiful sculpt, nicely painted. Really digging how these uh, skirts turned out. And here is the last part of the skirt. And I believe this one goes in front of his pants. Here is his right hand. And as you can see, the hand wraps are sculpted beautifully. Uh, his fingers are curled up. Looks like he's going to use the force or is using the force. Pretty cool. Here is the angry or screaming portrait with the, with the long horns. And this looks like uh, Maul when he was first discovered by Savage Press in, uh, in Clone Wars. And here is the regular portrait. And this is the short horn version. As you can see, he's got that snarl, that angry look. Man, this looks really, really good, guys. And here is his double-bladed lightsaber. And I love that igniting effect with uh, the blades. I know some people are not a huge fan of it, but man, I love it. Just kind of gives off the, you know, that look and feel that he's just, you know, igniting it for the first time. And uh, last but not least, here is his body. And uh, as you can see, beautifully painted. see you know nice color tones with the red and the black nice details on the robotic legs man this turned out beautiful guys really really impress all right so let's put this uh, statue together now all right so let's start off with the base here and uh, you can see that the base is a statue of Emperor Palpatine and you can see the uh, explosion effect on top of the statue itself. Uh, that's where Maul is jumping off from. And you can see how powerful his jump was because that force is going through the back of the statue, or should I say the back of the base there. And uh, let's peg in uh, the leg here. And uh, as you can see, it uh, pegs in pretty easily. And you can see the details on the leg itself really good textures and paint application on the leg love how the leg looks pretty futuristic it looks like a terminator leg and uh, let's put the skirt on or one part of the skirt and uh, there is a magnet which 
is pretty strong and it's definitely not flimsy so uh, you know you can see when I spin it around it doesn't move or anything but really love the sculpt of uh, the skirt kind of like flaring out like that and uh, let's put the other part of the skirt which goes on the left side of his hip again really good paint application on the skirt uh, love the textures and the weathering that's on the skirt itself and there should be another part of the skirt which goes on front of uh, his uh, his legs there and uh, as you can see again another magnet pretty strong and uh, yeah look at the details on the robotic legs guys looks terminator like and uh yeah really impressive how the the legs turned out let's put on his right hand and like i mentioned before love the sculpt of his uh of the hand wraps and uh let's put on his other hand holding the double bladed lightsaber all right, so uh, let's put on his uh, portrait and uh, let's put on the the regular uh, portrait. And this one is the short horned version. And again, uh, like I mentioned before, he's got that snarl, that menacing look. He looks like he's just going to destroy someone, <laughs> you know, with this portrait. And uh, yeah, it looks really good. Uh, let's move on to the other one, which is the long horned, uh, crazy looking portrait. And uh, as you can see, he is like screaming his head off. Like he's like, like, you know, screaming some sort of like battle cry or something. And uh, yeah, this one looks really good. Um, I'm not sure which one is my favorite. I'm not sure if it's this one or the other one. Like, I think I like both of them equally. But uh, yeah, going back to this portrait, you can see like uh, the horns are very detailed, nice paint application, nice textures on them. So it actually looks like like real boned horns. And uh, here's the other side of his portrait and uh, just love his look here. He just looks really crazy. <laughs> like he's just going ballistic on a Jedi or something. All right, so let's go back to the uh, regular short horned version. And uh, as you can see, it looks really good from all angles. I love the sculpt of his teeth, uh, the paint application on his, uh, his face. Uh, overall, this is a nice looking portrait. And let's move on to the double bladed lightsaber. And uh, as you can see, uh, the hilt is like a hybrid between his old hilt and the new. Um, you can see the bottom part is the old version and the top piece is like, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's the newer hilt, but yeah, overall it looks really good. And uh, I love the mythos aspect of the, the hilt. Let's move down towards his body here. You can see his red skin is so vibrant and I really love uh, the tattoo patterns uh, that's etched into his skin all over his body. And uh, I love the anatomy sculpt on his back and uh, on his chest. I think, uh, you know, the Kachak brothers did a great job sculpting this whole piece. And uh, this is why they are just legends in the sculpting game. So is this Darth Maul mythos statue worth picking up, especially if you're not a statue collector? absolutely freaking lootly <laughs> this statue is a work of art sculpted by the legendary Kucharik brothers and i want to give a lot of credit to sideshow for doing a great job mass producing this piece to the collectors everything about this statue is just pure epicness and that's even a word but yeah it's just a beautiful statue uh the pose the paint job uh the sculpt uh, presence and the anatomy sculpt on this mythos piece is just amazing and uh, yeah this piece is just an example of why the Kucharik brothers are just legends in this statue community. I know a lot of people are saying that this piece will take a while to sell out because they produce 4,500 of them 
but I think they're wrong. I think this piece will sell a lot sooner. I see all types of collectors like Hot Toys collectors, uh, non-Star Wars and Star Wars collectors picking up this piece just because it just looks that good, especially when it's displayed with other Star Wars Mythos pieces. Please guys, do not wait for this piece to sell out just because the Star Wars Mythos line is probably one of Sideshow's best lines they have ever produced. And if you look at all the previous Sideshow Star Wars Mythos pieces, you can see how expensive and how difficult they are to get in the aftermarket. Please do not put yourself in that position if you are on the fence. You do not want to hunt these down when they are sold out on Sideshow's website. Alright guys, so that wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please stay tuned for more Star Wars Mythos statue reviews coming really soon. Thanks for watching and always remember to do what you love and love what you collect. Take care guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.